if you ever want to know the secret on getting favor to operate in your life 24 7 then this video is for you again if you ever want to know the secret to getting favor the favor of God to operate in your life 24 7 then this video is for you my name is Adrian Hines and I am pastor of Kingdom Connections Embassy and with this particular video I want to share with you my heart my my, my what I want to share with you my heart on how to get the favor of God to operate in your life 24 7 now I must warn you that this what I'm about to share with you may go against all the type of preaching and all the type of favor sermons that you have ever heard in your life and I want to warn you that you may go away with a renewed understanding of how to get the favor of God in your life and it's going to challenge you and it's going to challenge you to do that which is right that being said like I do with all of my videos, like I do with all of my sermons, I want to start off with scripture so that you can know everything that I say is going to be biblically based. There is a scripture that the body of Christ is so familiar with, and we preach it, and we talk about it, and we shout about it, but yet we don't fully understand it as the body of Christ. Now, the reason that I want to talk about the favor of God and how to get it to operate in your life 24-7 is because I firmly believe that in the body of Christ, we have a big misunderstanding dealing with the favor of God. And the reason we have a big uh, misunderstanding dealing with the favor of God is because we don't understand what that favor is for. The favor of God is not not for us, but the favor of God is for other people, is to advance the kingdom of God here on earth. The blessings that we receive from God, the empowerment to prosper, which is what the blessing is, is not strictly for us, but it's to advance the kingdom of God. The, the, the wealth that we attain, the, the money I should say that we attain, because wealth is not just money, but the money that we attain, the, the, the high jobs that we get, the high paying jobs that we get, the car that we have, the, 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 the um, houses that we live in, all this stuff is not just for us, but it's to advance the kingdom of God. That being said, let me help you to have a better understanding a more complete understanding on how to get the favor of God to operate in your life 24-7. Now, uh, I want to say all of it. I said all that to say uh, that I firmly believe with the understanding that I have right now that whenever the favor of God operates in your life, that is something that you don't have to ask for. And I'm going to give you an understanding. So, and it's going to everything is going to be from a kingdom perspective. It's not going to be from a religious perspective because from a religious perspective, uh, you, you you desire the favor, you pray for favor, you pray for divine favor. But I'm going to show you how you can have the favor of God operating in your life 24/7, and it will no longer be a secret. But you will realize that it's for a blessing. Watch this. Go to Matthew 6:33. This passage is so deep. It is so powerful. But yet again, a lot of us don't fully understand. In Matthew 6, 33, it says, but seek, this is Jesus talking to the crowd, to the multitude, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you this is the priority this should be the priority of every believer that makes jesus lord owner master ruler over their life which is to seek first the kingdom of god that seek that word seek it means to pursue to study to explore to understand to learn the kingdom of god the kingdom of god in its simplest definition is the rule of god in the hearts of people now i'm a person that although i can be simple i want you to have a better understanding of what the kingdom of god is and i take this definition from dr miles monroe the kingdom of god what it means to seek to pursue to study to explore is the the, the kingdom of god is the governing influence of a king over his territory which is earth impacting it with his personal will purpose and intent producing a culture of values morals and lifestyle that reflects the king's nature and desire for his citizen and so that being said uh but seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you well um in this short video was well, shorter than a regular sermon let me break this scripture down so that we can have a better understanding jesus says uh, why do you worry about the clothing the food the you know all that stuff why do you worry about life 
He says, this is all, this should be your priority. Your priority should be to seek, to seek, to pursue, to study, to learn what the kingdom is, the kingdom of God. Miles Monroe puts it this way. Um, it's, it's all about seeking a place and seeking position, seeking a place and seeking position, seeking the place, which is the kingdom of God. We, we, we seek heaven. We seek how to get God's will done here on earth. We seek how to get his his understanding here on earth. We we seek how to get his way of living. Catch this. His way of living here on earth. That's that's our purpose to seek time to get his way of living here on earth. We seek how to get his will here on earth. We seek how to get his influence here on earth. We seek how to get his purpose here on earth. We seek and learn how to get his intent here on earth. We seek how to uh, produce a culture that represents God's kingdom in heaven here on earth. So that's what we need to seek. He said we need to seek after that. We need to pursue after that. And here's the second point. Part. See, we, we're, we're good, and I say we, in the body of Christ, we're good at quoting some part of, uh, of a passage, but not the whole thing. We're, we're good at, at quoting, you know, here's, uh, we're good at quoting half of a scripture, but not the other part. So we understand that we have to seek, we have to pursue, we have to learn, we have to understand how to get the will of God done here on earth. So that's the first part. That's the place. The second part is position which is righteousness. Righteousness, when I grown up, I always thought it was a religious term. You know, I always thought righteousness dealt with what you had on, you know, women not wearing pants and, you know, wearing, not wearing makeup and having hats on their head and, and men always wearing suits and, you know, ties and all that stuff. And righteousness has nothing to do whatsoever with what you have on. Righteousness is all about the matter of the heart. And it has to deal with being in right standing with the government. Watch this. This is all about government. This is all about the kingdom. This is, has, has nothing to do with religion. So right standing is all about being in right position, right alignment with the government that you represent. So that means that as a kingdom citizen, it is your duty, it is your responsibility to always be in right alignment with the government. Always be in right alignment with the government. So in our perspective, that means that we su we're supposed to always make sure that we don't sin. And we're supposed to have the mindset and heart that, Lord, I love what you love and I hate what you hate. So that means, Lord, I love people, but I hate the sin in the people. And so I hate the sin that I commit. We have to get to the point where we hate sinning we have to get to that point where we hate sinning where our mind is all is in tune with the mind of God where our mind is always on the word of God that's what holiness is is being of one mind with God we have